Well, growing up in this industry with a father like Thad Ewer Jr. meant that he went to work at a very early age. So by the time I was 14, I was already coming to these restaurant shows here in Chicago. And that is where I was exposed to so many self-made individuals, uh, individuals that started with probably nothing more than a dream, ended up with those dreams becoming reality, the realities of 40,000 of people, and there's thousands of people impacting their communities in such a positive way. So two of my personal heroes are the previous recipients of this award, Ted Ballesteri and Joe Fassler. For me to follow in their footsteps has been, quite frankly, really hard for me to wrap my head around. So I had to believe that the Lord must have wanted me to impart some of the values that I hold near and dear. First of all, my mom. Imagine a woman with the beauty and elegance of Princess Grace and the humor of Lucille Ball. <laughs> Her, her compassion for people, and I mean all people, and animals, was endless. She taught me that any small act of kindness can make a huge difference. My dad, imagine a man with a stature larger than life. He was a combination of John Wayne and Jerome Patton. He taught me that there is nothing more honorable than hard work. He also taught me that if you are going to derive your income from a community, you must give back to that community. But the greatest thing that both of my parents taught me happened when they faced the personal tragedy of my brother becoming ill. Because there was no research being done in mental illness at that time, they decided to turn this tragedy into something positive and they started the Foundation of Hope. I'm so proud to say that my sister Shelly has dedicated her life to, to be in the, the helm of this foundation now. And it is now one of the largest charities in the world raising money for mental illness. Now, For my Angus Barn family, my team, I am honored to work side by side with the people who embody our mission statement, which is that each and every guest is meant to feel like the most important person in the world while they are at the Angus Barn. Some of these people have been with me for more than 20 years. Um, some of them are here with me tonight. And the 375 that aren't here with me tonight are back in Raleigh, making sure that each guest feels like the most important person in the world. They don't just do this sometimes. They do it all the time. We hire for attitude, not aptitude. We look for people with a servant's heart. And then we empower them, and then we just let the magic happen. My husband, Steve, my partner, and my rock. He keeps me grounded, which is very difficult to do. <laughs> Every day he reminds me that no matter what crazy endeavors I may try to get myself involved in, he is there to love me through them all. My children, Christopher and Allie. Well, ever since they were old enough to know how to shake hands with a firm grip, uh, they've been working at the Angus Farm. And in spite of the hundreds of mandatory hours in the dish pit, they have decided to be the third generation and carry on the Angus Farm legacy. My adopted daughter, Jillian, she shares in my passion for animal rescue. And in spite of her hundreds of hours, mandatory hours of cleaning horse stalls and dog pens, she has chosen to carry on 
the Family Doug Shad Foundation for Animal Rescue. Now, I want to remind all of you that we are in the greatest industry because we are able to give a gift, a gift that money can't buy. We're able to give the gift of creating memories. And we don't just make food, we make memories. Tell me another industry in this entire world where people are paid to do nothing but create joy. So I'm just so honored to be part of this industry. And in closing, I want to say that I cannot express enough in words how I feel about being a recipient of this honor. So I would just make a promise to you that I will continue to learn and to grow and to be a steward of all of that I have been blessed with. Thank you.